following up on uh, that, Chris Chan for live from jail. Apparently, it was recorded live, at least allegedly. Has some things to say about Josh Moon panel. Oh no! I swear to God. What now, the fuck? Allegedly, I haven't heard it yet, but I uh, saw people commenting on it, and they were talking about uh, him talking about Null betrayed him, basically. Oh, I'm looking at the fucking marquee now. Let's go. By the way, I've said this Weird. before. Josh doesn't have a long history of letting down his friends. Also, oh, no. <laughs> I know. I know. Shocking. He was just shitting on Ricardo the other day and saying he, he had Drexel on there only because he was black, and it was like shielding him from – he literally said to shield him from the blackface allegations, that that's why he had Drexel on his show. And that's like his big fucking platform that he always goes on, you know. I thought show. he had Drexel on there forever. The blackface thing came up later. He's, yeah, he's literally well, like one of his longest yeah. friends. Well, he was like, doing he's known the blackface thing for over a decade at this he, point. He was doing that to troll Drexel, was my understanding, right? Like I think that's why he did the blackface thing in the first place. Well, I think yeah, wasn't he it? was doing it. He was doing it. He was wearing Drexel's shirt. Wasn't he, and he trolling dressed Drexel? Up in blackface yeah. to, because he was pretending to be Drexel. Right. That's that what was I thought. The joke. Yeah, that's what I thought. So. Anyway, that was a bizarre take. I was like, I don't think so, Josh. I don't think. Why did it? Wasn't Josh on his show the other day? Yeah. He said it so after. What? It was the day after. Well, on his appearance, he kind of looked like a clown because he spent the whole time trying to figure out how he could keep the GoFundMe oh, money. Oh, okay. And wait, Nick's wait, like, wait, hey, oh, don't oh, keep that money. Guess. So he's nice and he was polite as pie to somebody and then immediately talk shit behind their back. That doesn't sound like yes. Joshua. What? Money. No. Yeah, that's what he did. And so. And Drexel was kind of shitting on. Like the entire Chris thing, just like I don't know what kind of I, I don't know what people would follow this guy. This is this is all weird to me. This is all <laughs> this is all fucked up. I you know, and he's just sitting there, just like shitting on everything that they've done. <laughs> and so Josh gets off the stream, and he's just like, I'll show him that fucking it, you know. Oh, see, Wait, I didn't. So he literally did that four chan. <laughs> uh, hey, how you doing there, nerd? Yeah, yeah. Oh, by do, the way, we can't. Okay. We can't Lost into four chan. Fuck those guys. We can't check <laughs> yeah, out what. That. Uh, That's exactly what happened. We can't check out what the faggot farms are saying about this because they're down again, uh, which is a oh, oh what a shame. Wow. What, a, what a tragedy. By the way, I saw Aiden Paladin uh, running her mouth on Twitter the other day. No. Uh, yeah, yeah. All these uh, content creators, quote unquote, who don't know shit about anything really. What did they uh, say? Oh, well, she got. She wanted to defend Kiwi Farms basically against the against the smears being said because of Chris Sham. Like, what are you talking about? First what? off, what, yeah, that that they shouldn't be shut down. First off, I haven't seen anybody said they should be shut down for that. No. I mean. They've been. They've said it about other things, but I haven't seen any articles saying they need to be shut down because of that. I think there was an article where they cataloged, cataloged like two or three suicides, and then mentioned the the Chris Chan thing. Um, it seems like that was that came out, but yeah. I don't know. Uh, the, she felt the need to go out there and defend Kiwi Farms. It's like, okay, well, that's kind of weird. Do you even know what's going on over there wasn't, and what's wasn't happened? Aiden like, crying like a bitch when she was docked. She was. Yeah, she was. She absolutely was. So and a website that docks is you shouldn't really be backing it. I don't know. You didn't shut your fucking it's mouth. If you, if you cry it. about being doxxed. I don't know. They all it's they all have a lot to cry about when it's their shit getting fucked with, when it's them, you know, facing the heat. And then when it's anybody else, they don't care. And and again, I'm not saying that stuff should you know, that is what it is. That is some of the stuff you have to face when you're online. But let's not portray Kiwi Farms as something that's you know, it's not. It's a fucking cesspool. Literally they're doxing people on there every fucking day. Tons and tons per day. They're they're p- posting people's houses. They're going after people's unborn children. They're doing every fucking thing and making up just the wildest slander about people. That's what the website is. And so you know you can say what you want, but that's what the fucking place is. And anybody who tries to represent it is anything but that's a lying fucker. And that does it goes on from the from anybody on down. I don't give a fuck who's saying it. And so again, I'm you know. People do get doxxed. People do face slander. People do face, oh, people trying to dox them. But this is a centralized hub for that thing, and that's what it is. Anybody trying to say that's that's not the case is a liar. And so, I don't know. But it, but it's the last bastion of free. Shut the fuck up. 
you fucking like look, I'm not gonna defend I mean, a place like that. I wanna see it shut down and I'm gonna laugh when it happens. I don't give a yeah, fuck. Why do like, I, I don't like, have to defend Kiwi Farms? No, I don't. Fuck that. They're not they allies, they're scumbags. Josh is a scumbag. Jobs yeah. and shit, right? It's like what Josh the fuck? is Who a piece cares? of shit. I'm not obligated to defend him or his fucking scumbag website at all. No, I'm not. Fuck you. Fuck my free speech principles. I do, that doesn't tie me to anybody I don't want to be tied to. I can't wait to see him crash and burn. And there's nothing that, that makes me defend him on some type of nebulous free speech ab- absolutist grounds. No. Matter of fact, he puts all of us in danger with his reckless behavior. Completely, yeah. completely reckless too. Like, like meanwhile, shit. he fucking has been deleting and threatening to ban because you know how the, the whole weight loss thing. So he was eating pizza or some shit. And he's talking about pizza and people are shitting on him on PPP's fucking page or whatever. And then he literally says his last post was, if anyone asks me on this thread again, you're banned. Yeah. Oh, so you could dox it, but God forbid somebody make, They're make fucking with him about pizza and being fat, and that's yeah. too much for him. I'm like, dude, are you kidding me? And, dude, one guy was like, oh, try making your own pizza out of like... You know, wheat bread, and he said he he put his all all the directions on how to make like a uh, like a low calorie pizza. He's like, I know what, how how my body works. <laughs> I know how how I. And it's like, dude, he's like losing his. It is. Like, I don't care about this. With well, the last forty messages on PPP's thread, says the different. The, says different, and then he goes, anyone asks me, you're banned. From the free speech website. Shut the fuck up about this thing. free speech shit. I'm, he's ja- he, he's Johnny Juice. That's what it is. That's what it is. And again, I don't... Just because, you know, I can sit here and say, you know, some of that stuff is stuff you have to face, right? Like, I can't sit here and say, you know, lock them all up, etc. But that doesn't mean I have to defend the guy who's who's created the centralized hub can for this scumbag shit. Can we send Blair White to Chris Chan's jail to keep him company? We should keep insane troons together in a wing to themselves. Let them cornhole each other to death. And you know what? <laughs> Chaos man might be onto something. But you know what? I've never tr- tried to go to Monday Matt's house or, or, or go to somebody. And we mercilessly fucked with people. I've never tried to look up his kids or let's start a fucking running thread on his kids. Or, you know, let's let's try to make up bullshit about his, his childhood and stuff. No, that's never fucking happened. I mean, that one story from church, he talked about that. You know, that was him who put that story out there, regardless. Um, you've never seen me say that ever. We did go film Chris Chan. That was because, I mean, he was a, basically wanted, and I won't say on the run, but almost, turns out, like they arrested him at the hotel when we went to go look for him. So I, I guess that's the one exception. But this is a guy who was, you know, basically under worldwide scrutiny for fucking his mother so i don't know i would say that's probably a little bit different uh and anyway i don't know it's just i i don't i don't feel the need to defend that place at all and i no, see that on, i see that on twitter and they're like oh ralph you're being a hypocrite because they're they're fucking with you and this and that and it's true they they do fuck with me all the time that's true and it's like it's kind of sad honestly at this point because I, I i read it every once in a while and see what they're saying it's like man this shit's not even tethered in reality at all like it's just so completely bizarre. Uh, well, we have talked about it on the show. Turned but, into pure schizo posting. But, yeah, yeah, it's people just send like me stuff. Weird. Or I see Gator or you will tweet something. That's how I sort of get my supplementary Kiwi Farms. People go, "Did you see this?" And I was sent him crying on 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 Kiwi about, about the pizza eating pizza. And I'm like, "Wait, he's trying to ban anyone who adds him about." him eating pizza so if you want you, you can make a fake account and just go hey josh how's the pizza and he'll back me <laughs> but but you can find someone you hate's address or their mother's you know, address and post it and they'll fucking reward you make you a mod you know it's you know? also this is an excellent idea we can call it the annoy the noid uh, avoid the noid campaign <laughs> 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 they brought it back recently. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, I no, saw I, that. Man, that made me happy Yo, when I saw no, I played that old, remember the old game they put in a cereal box? Yes. Remember? Yes. Avoid the Noid and you yep. deliver pizzas. It's so bad.